Hey everyone, this is Jack from Jack's Hi-Fi Guide. Welcome to the channel. So today what I thought I'd talk about is DAX and streamers and the reasons why you might just be better off investing in a different part of your Hi-Fi system. Now over the last two years there's been a number of DAX as well as streamers which have been released in the sub £500 price range. And perhaps you're, what, you know, you're somebody out there who owns one of these units and you're looking to upgrade. Well, before you go and do that, just hear me out for a few minutes because I'm going to give you a good few reasons why that might not necessarily be the best decision to make. So we're going to kick off this list today by talking about longevity. And, um, you know, what does that mean in relation to Hi-Fi? Well, you see, for me personally, when I buy a bit of Hi-Fi kit, I like to know it's going to last me a good few years and I ain't going to have to think about upgrading it anytime soon. And, um, you know, when it comes to speakers and amplifiers, I think this definitely does hold true. An amplifier from 10, 15 years ago, as long as it was made of good quality components and good craftsmanship, is generally going to hold up well today, um, you know, against whatever the latest and greatest is on the market. The same cannot be said, though, however, for DAX and particularly streamers. You see, even though DAX have kind of been mainstream in the hi-fi world for the last 10 or 15 years, they are an ever-evolving technology. You know, there's constantly new chips coming out, there's constantly new ways of developing these DACs and, and that kind of thing. So in general, what I'm kind of trying to get across here is that, you know, DACs are constantly changing, right? The DAC you buy today, particularly if it's a more, let's say, affordable DAC, might be outperformed by something a little bit cheaper in a couple of years from now. So that is definitely something to bear in mind. I think a good example of this is the Blue Sound Nose. I mean, you know, two, three years ago, it was kind of considered the, the gold standard for DAX and streamers under a thousand pounds. You now look in this segment and it's just so crowded with so many different options that it can be hard for a lot of people to decide what they want to buy. And um, I think it's only going to become more and more saturated, right? Because more and more companies are kind of getting in on this thing of targeting people with more affordable systems and obviously with you know, streaming becoming more popular as well. It's an ever, you know, it's an ever growing market, right? The next point I want to talk about is performance. And, you know, with regards to DAC performance and streaming performance in a hi-fi system. So me personally, I've heard quite a few DACs over the last few years. I've heard DACs ranging all the way up from £100 all the way up to £10,000. And yes, that £5,000 DAC is considerably better than a £500 DAC, but not necessarily 10 times better. And that's something to bear in mind. You know, there's a lot of hype around DAX. There's a lot of talk about them and um, streamers as well. And despite the fact I do believe that, you know, a streamer or your source, whether that's a PC as well, can make quite a big of a difference. Your room and, you know, the speakers that you're using. I mean, a lot of people don't consider the fact that, you know, they might just be using the wrong speakers or might not necessarily like their speakers. You know, I've had situations in the past where I've owned, you know, certain headphones or I've heard certain speakers and, you know, despite the fact me kind of enjoying the sound, I've never really sort of fallen in love with them. So I think what I'm trying to say here is key to get your speakers right and your amplifier right before you start focusing, you know, all your attention on optimizing your DAC and your streamer. Another aspect to consider is cables, right? So in general, like if you've got a separate DAC and it's connecting to your integrated amplifier or, you know, somehow connecting via cables to a different part of your system, you're going to lose some performance there, no matter what, right? I mean, yes, you can use really, really high-end cables, but then it'll get to the point, are your cables more expensive than your DAC or your amplifier alone? That's just something to bear in mind. So overall, my advice would be, if you want to get the most performance of your money for under a thousand pounds, I would actually recommend trying to integrate your DAC into your um, you know, integrated amplifier or something like that, right? Find an integrated amplifier out there with a DAC included, and then you don't have to worry about the potential loss of performance due to, you know, cables which are not necessarily, you know, really, really high end, right? So the next point what I want to talk about is why a PC might actually be a better option uh, long term as opposed to a music streamer. Now, we all know that, you know, computers are generally quite noisy devices, right? They're not exactly the best solution if you want to get, you know, the ultimate performance out of your audio system. But something to consider is if you haven't got thousands and thousands of pounds spent and, you know, you're someone like me who's just gotten into these videos or perhaps you want to watch movies on your computer, you know, there's just so much more you can do, right? A streamer is just the streamer. So you can only play music from it. Another point to consider is the fact that, you know, there's not really much upgrade potential with a streamer. I mean, yes, you can upgrade the power supply, which will make quite a bit difference, but Overall, I would say you can do a lot more of a computer, right? You can optimize windows, you can upgrade the power supply, you can upgrade 
uh, the internals if you want to. There's just so much more flexibility right there. So if you're the kind of person who's more plug and play and you just want something that you know you set up and you're good to go, then a streamer might be a good choice. But me personally, I like to kind of tinker around my source quite a bit. I like to find ways to get as much performance as possible. So in my point of view, I think a computer is a better investment uh, long term. So I hope you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from with this video today. It's only a short video. I just want to go over a couple of points as to why, you know, I believe that, you know, yes, there's a lot of talks around DAX and streamers, but I think you can spend your money better elsewhere if you haven't got thousands to, uh, to spend. So if you enjoyed this video today, be sure to let me know what you think in the com comments down below and drop a like if you have enjoyed. Uh, going back to what I was talking about earlier with regards to performance, just to give you guys a reminder, as I said, I would actually recommend uh, investing in an integrated amplifier with a DAC included. That way you're not losing any performance with the cables or anything like that. So uh, as I said, you know, I think that's the way to go. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video today. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you in the next one. Do take care.